So now that we have the basic jazz keeping pattern with taps and sweeps, we can do a little more advanced jazz timekeeping pattern that is all sweeps. So the idea with this one is that we won't have any of the tap sounds, the vertical up and down, it'll all be our horizontal sweep sounds. So what's a little different is in the right hand. So there's a couple things that go into play here that are new. One is we're gonna take advantage of the characteristics of the drum head. And what I mean by that is if we're dealing with a head that's been played a little bit and is not brand new, the texture in the middle will be a little more worn down, it'll be smooth, and on the edge, it'll still be rough. In fact, you can probably hear that. Not much texture there, a little more texture there, and all heads are gonna wear that way, no matter what manufacturer they are. At some point, the center with stick, uh, with the sticks playing on it, will wear down a little bit more. The other thing that happens is your heads are a little bit higher pitched towards the edge than they are in the center. So, if we sweep our brush in the middle versus the edge, you can hear the difference. It's quite drastic. So I'm just using like a sideways kind of flick of the wrist, back and forth. I guess that was a little faster, but it was those eighth notes that we dealt with in the first lesson, just to get an idea of the sound difference. So what we can do is we can take advantage of that sound difference at the edge to get some definition in our right hand. And that definition will be the jazz timekeeping pattern. pattern. One, two, a three, four, a one. And it'll all be mostly in the right hand for this version. So we can sweep at the top, one, kind of make a circle, or not a circle, but like kind of a backwards uh, C, or kind of a half moon shape. We can use that flick of the wrist up on the edge. We get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And those are just quarter notes for now, and that's the way I would start. So we can add the left back in to full, fill up the sound a little bit. The left's not gonna give us any of those definition strokes, but it's just gonna give us that little simmer, that shh, that standard sweeping sound. So what we can do is do these opposite kind of C strokes where we change places on the head. Kind of stir in the soup. I think you guys have probably heard that. Stir in the soup. So we'd have one, two, three, four. 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 You got it. So the next thing to get those us back in there, there's two ways to do it. One would just be doing all of the defined jazz timekeeping notes with the right hand, with the little flick of the wrist, the little fast sweeps up on the edge, uh, all of the notes up there. So we'd have one, two, a three, four, a one. So you can see how I'm adding the extra one, a one, a one. So that might be something to get used to, that little flick of the wrist. A one, two, a three, four, 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 a one. Awesome. So for some people, that's a little bit too much work with the right hand. Maybe that works pretty good for slow jazz timekeeping patterns. But if we want to speed it up a little bit, we can begin to get that left hand involved. So we can get one, two, a three, four, a one, two, a three, four, a one. So the idea is the left takes those us. And what it is is for me, I'm just drawing it closer to the body kind of quickly and maybe putting a little more brush on the head. So the way that would work is if we have a little bit of brush on the head, not much surface area, we get one volume, but as you put more brush on the head, more surface area gets a little bit louder. 
So that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of pushing down and pulling in a little bit. I'm also maybe even using a little bit of fingers in the traditional grip. It doesn't have to be traditional grip. You can play brushes with match. So it's just a matter of uh, getting a little bit more brush on the head and we're going towards the edge where it's higher and pitched. So we have a one, two, a three, four, 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 a one, a three, a three, four, a one, two, a three. Awesome. So you can begin to improvise a little bit. And that's where the brushes really become personal, where you're working on your own sounds, uh, taking advantage of these legato sweeps with some taps in there, and it really becomes pretty fun.